In this video, I'm bringing you up to date with the two latest seven star raids that are coming right after the seven star Pikachu that is ending on the 25th of July, which is three days from the posting of this video. Now we just recently found out what are the next seven star raids. The next ones are going to be Dondozo and Dragonite. Now Dondozo is a water type Pokemon. It's going to have the water terror type during its raid and it's gonna have its hidden ability, the water veil, which prevents it from getting a burn. So fire attacks are not gonna work on, on water. In terms of stats, Dondozo is one of the tankiest Pokemon in the game. It has a very, very high HP stat of 150. It also has an incredible defense of 115. So using physical type attacks against Dondozo is going to be quite difficult. It also has a beefy attack stat. So hitting you physically is going to be its main form of attack, at least the one that will hurt the most. So going into this raid, you are going to want to boost your physical defense as much as you can while focusing on a special attack so that you can poke its special defense, which is half the stat of its defense stat. So hitting it with special moves is going to be very beneficial here. And because it's gonna have the water terror type and well, it's type is still water. So it's going to have the same weaknesses throughout the raid, which is going to be two times weakness to electricity and two times weakness to grass type attacks. Now this raid is active directly after the Pikachu one ends. So from the 26th of July up until August the 8th. So you basically have like two weeks in order to fight Dondozo the seven star raid. For the next seven star raid after this is going to be Dragonite. Now Dragonite is a dragon flying type Pokemon, but it's going to be having the normal Terra type and as well as its hidden ability, which reduces damage when its HP is full which I guess only counts at the beginning. I don't even know if this works in the raid. Now, Dragonite is known to be a pretty decent all-rounder. It has stats that are really, really good for, mo for the most part. Its physical attack stat is really high at 134. It can whack you quite hard, but it also still has a decent special attack to kind of do either and still get away with it. It's going to hurt no matter what it hits you with. It has good defense, good special defense, good HP. There is no, like specific you know like oh physical attack is gonna beat this thing into pulp like there is no kind of cut and dry method of taking this thing out now you'll see here on its dragon and flying its weaknesses are going to be four times to ice rock dragon and fairy for two times but since it's going to have the normal terror type you're not going to be using those you know moves at least while its shield is up because it has the normal terror type it's going to be two times weak to fighting and ghost type moves will not work on it at all. Now this is a bit tricky because two times weakness against fighting during its shield phase is great, but as soon as its shield goes down, it basically reverts back to dragon and flying, which means that fighting is now going to be half as effective. So you're gonna be kind of screwed using fighting type moves during like the, the after phase, after you remove its shield, which I feel like is gonna be the gimmick involved in this raid. Now this raid is gonna be active from the 23rd of August to the 1st of September. So we're only getting one week for this one for some reason, whereas we're getting two weeks for Dondozo. And of course, once these raids come around, I will also share builds on how to defeat them. And those are the seven star raids that you can look forward to. Let us know in the comments down below what you think will beat these Pokemons during their raids when they do release. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.